All right, this is the last group break of the week. This one has been a long time coming. We've been waiting a while to get this open. Um, it's 1718 Upper Deck Supreme Hard Court Basketball. It's a hobby case. And these are the players that are in. It's a hit break. So this is everybody that's in there for uh, that bought spots. I'm going to open up the case uh, in this column. I'm going to put the names. Uh, and then I will random the people that are in the break and the names of what we got and put them in column D and E respectively uh, at the end to see what everyone has. So without any further ado, -do, this is the monster case. As you can see, I don't have enough space to have this on here. So what I'll do is I'll open it in front of you. But then I've got <laughs> I've got to move it. It just don't fit. But here it is. Daisy Fresh. Oh, goodness. If you're not familiar with this product, it is two boards, and I say boards because you'll see why in a minute, two boards per master box, split into individual boxes inside here. Each of them are printed on the floorboard of the Charlotte, not Charlotte, the, um, yeah, the Charlotte Bobcat. Uh, old flooring. I'll show you that in a little bit. But here you go. I'll explain it a little more if this is your first time viewing it. These are actually pretty cool. Jordan did sign in here. As well as LeBron. And a lot of fan favorites. So that's the master box inside there. Our two smaller ones. Which are also Fort Noxified. It's a very long product to open. So I'm glad this one was scheduled for 1030. That way we can get the maximum stay up in this. All right, the first one is Markel Fultz. I can't even show it to you, it's so big. All right, let me try to get... There we go. That's about as good as I'm going to get, folks. So here you go. And for those who haven't seen this, it is a NBA game-used floor from uh, UD Authentic. It's the Charlotte Bobcats, certified as being used in the 05 to 13 seasons. So there you go. It comes with its own certificate. But the first one is Fultz. <laughs> Thon Maker is in here. It's his rookie. So uh, Blue wants a Thon Maker. Maybe this one will be it. Nope, it's Alonzo Morning, autographed out of 99.
Uh, I'll probably pull one Jordan out of here. Might not be an auto, but I'll pull at least one Jordan. I usually always pull... I shouldn't say usually always. I would say 70%, maybe 60% of the cases I break will have some sort of Jordan. Almost every single one I've ever done has had a LeBron. Some of them multiple LeBrons. How about Julius Irving? Game used jersey out of 35 auto. Yep, pretty glad I wore a shirt today. Andrew Wiggins out of 65. It's my Miles Morales into the Spider-Verse t-shirt. Because that movie was so good, I bought a shirt for me and my brother-in-law. Who's a huge Miles Morales fan. Oh, absolutely great movie. I have a friend who's an animator. Uh, he's the one that said I had to see it. He came back after we worked together. Um, after he saw it opening day, he said, DC, you have to go see Into the Spider-Verse. You have to. He goes, this is the greatest piece, the most groundbreaking piece of animation that has come out in an extremely long time. He said, this is so good. It is going to make kids want to become animators. And you know what? He was 100% correct. Steph Curry out of 30. Uh, it sounds familiar. He's the big gray guy, right? Oh, it's absolutely not an exaggeration. I'm not exaggerating or speaking in hyperbole. It was so masterfully done that it absolutely will inspire generations future generations of animators. Um, it was mind-blowing. And if you didn't think so, you need to watch it again and pay attention to the technique. I mean, they made it almost 3D without it being 3D. Oh, I love it. Detroit Piston, Dennis Rodman. Your dad created him. That is pretty <laughs> impressive. Yeah, didn't, um, <laughs> Chris is like, oh, please give me that. Um, if I'm not mistaken, didn't Bendis do some of the writing on that? Easily the best Spidey movie made. All right, six down, 14 to go. I actually just picked up a lot, as in a group of, as in a lot, of uh, autographed comic books. It was basically a random lot. Um, a company, it was going to remain nameless because I might go back and buy more. Uh, a company was trying to put together an autographed uh, comic book uh, collection. And it's it's not Hit Parade, by the way. Um, and they decided that 
it was going to be too difficult to grade everything and certify everything. So they just basically let go of the autographed comic books. They're uncertified, but you can look at them and know they're legit. Uh, Porzingis, 65. Um, for next to nothing. They're basically giving them away. Ah, dig it. There you go. Little Easter egg. Um, and two of them. Ah, well, there you go. That's probably why. Um, two of them are definitely Bendis' autograph. With, I mean, he's it's a very distinct one. So CGC won't, but I bet you I could get them, if I wanted to, get them certified from somebody else. I know it wouldn't be as prestigious as CGC, but I'm willing to wager that there's other companies that will at least authenticate it. CBCS? Yeah, well, CBCS also has less of a reputation from what I've gathered from people telling me. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yep, Greek took the words right out of my mouth. Um, I doubt I'll go that far. I mean, there's a couple of them that I'm looking at them and they're clearly good. Um, just reviewing. Because I'm basically, they, they sell them and there's no literature on them. It is literally just, here's the comic books. Here's a group of them. Oh, look, Steph Curry out of 99. Um, and that's it. They basically have to fend for yourself. So you have to... They did say it's either the writer, the illustrator, um, writer, anchor, or penciler, I think. Um, so it's some cool stuff. Yeah, I forgot to mention, Steph Curry's in here, too. Oh, is this something that I'm not going to like to click on? Is this going to make me sad? Yeah, that's funny. I will. Ooh, here's another stunner. Magic Johnson game used jersey auto. going to write it down right now.
Kevin Love. Game used. But uh, that's what I've been doing lately is I've been digging through those seven books and identifying the autos. Some of the autos are awful. I'll never be able to figure them out. They're just scrib scribbles. Jamal Murray. Game used. Um, however, Bendis is an easy one. And I know two out of the five or two out of the seven or eight, excuse me. Two out of the eight are definitely him. How about Larry Bird? People like that, right? Birdman? It's an iconic signature. So, uh, Daniel, is your uh, is your parental home covered in artwork and pages of uh, original pages and stuff? Or does he not display his own work? Oh, here's a dually. Ben Simmons and Allen Iverson. Double game used. Statues. Nice. I used to spend a lot of time in comic book shops that had a lot of the statues uh, and Fernie Hardaway um, and I've seen some absolutely gorgeous ones but having a five or a four year old who is just a crazy person uh, I'm afraid to buy any so I keep all my stuff locked away <laughs> Ryan's done walking the dog. Today was beautiful in Buffalo. It was like 70 degrees with a slight cool breeze for most of the day. It was gorgeous. Well, Ben Simmons, Prime Relic, Patch out of 75.
Vince Carter. All right, we're almost there, guys. And gals. Yeah, so uh, about two years ago, uh, my wife and I had season passes for Disney, uh, Disney World in Florida. Um, cause our son was young enough that he didn't have to pay for a ticket. So it was free for him to be there. And we used to go, no joke, almost every weekend. Almost every weekend. Um, I got so sick of it after a while that I was happy to get rid of our, our passes. Now, not gonna lie, I kinda miss it. Elgin Baylor. 99. It's pretty great. I'd be lying if I said it wasn't. Yep. Jamal Murray, 99. The other one was game used. This one is autographed. Last box, guys. <laughs> right? Yep. <clears throat> so I haven't been to the one in in uh, California. Um, and I didn't, unfortunately, get to go to the Star Wars. Um, that wasn't open yet when we gave up ours. Um, so we are definitely going to have to go back at least once so that I can do the Star Wars stuff. Uh, I know we need a LeBron, uh, how about a LeBron and an MJ side by side? Instead, we have Dennis Rodman. So close, very similar, played on the same team. Uh, that's the black and white variant. So I will put that in here. Let's see if this box makes me a liar. Nope. LeBron James. LeBron James game use jersey. I told you. Oh, I know it. I I know Star Wars is great, man. I just didn't have the opportunity. It, it literally didn't exist when the uh, when we gave him up. I told you, man. Every case has a LeBron in it. Every case has a LeBron. I'm honestly surprised I haven't had a I haven't had a a, a Jordan because I haven't had a Jordan in a, in a probably two cases. All right, so here's the part that you guys are probably really interested in. So this is everything explained. These are your names. Let's do some random. We'll do eight.
seven. All right, Stuart, you got the Murray autographed out of 99. Douglas Curry autographed out of 99. Scott, the false auto. Ashok, you have the Simmons patch out of 75. Martin P, you have the Baylor autographed out of 99. Massam, the Erling, Irving game used auto out of 35. Scott D, the Rodman auto. Darren, the Rodman black and white auto. Massam, the love game used. Ronald, the Curry out of 30. And the morning auto out of 99. Uh, Phil J, you have the Wiggins out of 65. Darren, the Magic auto game used. Barry gets the Simmons AI game used dual and Hardaway auto. Uh, Christopher, the Carter A autograph. Peter, the Murray game used. Robert V, you get that Birdman auto. Stewart gets the Porzingis out of 65, and Scott D. with LeBron James' jersey. There you go, guys. So, uh, hey, Douglas, there you go, friend. Uh, same with you, Chris. Got the VC. Nice. So, good stuff. Listen, I mean, that was actually a pretty good case. That was a very consistent pretty high-end case there that was that was solid i don't think uh i don't think anybody can get too much